two chapters left. Alright, uh, kitty. Right. Ah, my drugs. Do we have a plan? Get home. Plan A. I like it. Let's do it. Alright, our drugs have ran away from us. Oh. Home. That's suspicious. That's weird. <gasps> Kitty, I don't trust this. trapped oh no <laughs> oh no I shouldn't have touched the pills bad Fran bad bad what should I do now we're trapped here forever and ever are you though you have a knife up so we'll see how it goes okay fan rear you're already here well i wasn't expecting you until 2 35 as i see it you're not trapped anymore interesting you lied anyways let me introduce myself i am itward your faithful friend itward do you know where do i know you from somewhere you seem familiar yes i'm the creature of the night we've been playing together i helped you get mr midnight back you see Really? Huh. I think I managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one that made, my, made the sisters go mad? No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They believed it was me. You see, that's because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They blamed me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. Well, let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Don't you recognize me, dear Fran? The long man with the top hat. I always came by at night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. Came to you after you imagined me. I'm not imaginary, you see, I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar. Yes, I can't deny that. I exist because you exist. And the truth that you were able to imagine me because I already existed. Is it just my internet acting weird? We're just weird internet night. Mine isn't playing ball either, Lex. Hmm. Like, is it lagging or what's it doing? <gasps> yeah, it ward. We got it ward. Anyways, we don't have to talk about this right now. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Follow me. Yeah, my laptop was actually was actually was disconnecting, reaffecting for minutes on end. Hmm. Uh, take me home. Can't let you do that. I don't know you. I won't hurt you. I am not made out of darkness. I am your friend. Hmm. All right. You seem nice. I'll go with you, but I won't trust you yet. Fine, come now. I have to show you something. Do we trust it or I can't remember if it was good or not. <laughs> get the fireberries. Yeah, it's better. Okay. Oh, that, that thing is not dead. I'm very sorry. Uh, 
Uh, you're an, are missing a uh, misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. What do you mean, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose, I'm not a moose. I am a deadly worm. A deadly worm? No, no, not a deadly worm. A deadly worm. I don't go around killing creatures. I just give back the soil from the creatures who took it. I don't need it anymore. Oh, I only see a talking moose. Where are you? Down here, creature. Can't you see me? My name is Fran. You are so teeny. Hello. Hello, Fran. Can I ask you why did you touch the moose in the first place? Probably only scavengers would touch dead animals. Are you? Um, of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb on it to reach the fireberries. Oh, I see. I think it's possible the moose is very sturdy and solid. The fireberries are on fire. You can hurt yourself. Yes, I see the fire. But I have to take them somewhere. Somehow. Good luck with that. Is that what worms will look like? I guess. When you're on drugs. Yeah, they're on fire. They cut the berries off you, they be they are on fire. What if I take them here? Okay. Alright, we got the berries. Climb back down. Will you visit me when I die? I always come to visit those when time is left behind. Don't worry. We'll see each other when I'm very old. I'm about to turn 11 years old soon. But I'm not that old. The circumstances are right. Okay. So. Got that. Right, let's see if we can find something that will help us with getting the water. Ew, completely deformed. Hey, Ord. Okay. How we get water? How do we get the water? How do we get the water? Water. I need something to like lower. Wait, um, drugs. Use that on hair. I need your help, please. We love you to tie this bucket to your beautiful hair. Why? It sounds insane. It's not insane. I need the water from under the cliff. I can't reach it. You need to use your beautiful hair as a rope. Alright. Oh, good. Yeah! Look, it's now full of water. Thank you. Now, home is somewhere we wish, we all wish to belong. Does home belong somewhere? I don't understand the question. It's a rhetorical question. I just wanted to say that you are your own home. Welcome yourself inside. You will find many doors to open. That sounds mysterious and beautiful. Just glad our brain cell figured out the, the riddle. It's like, I need the hair. <laughs> don't cut the hair. Just use the hair. <laughs> brain cell figured it out. <laughs> Didn't have to look. Yeah. There we go. Okay. It worked. I got them both. Do I have to use them on him? 
magnificent. They'll do just fine. Yeah. Here's the water. Ah, uh, you mean lizard ferns? They are nice, yes, but only, but only when you see them in this reality. They are very dangerous if you see them in the fifth reality. They can burn you. Wow, oh, burn me? Wow. I haven't been in the fifth reality yet. I don't recommend it. But trees below there may be the worst thing you'll ever experience. Oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you, Fern. It is 2.34. The journey will begin. Let's get inside the machine. Hi, Mr. Midnight. Let's go. On board. On board. There we go. It's 2.36. We have a great possibility of reaching the target in good condition. We will soon be on our way to the third reality. Are you excited? Maybe I'd be more excited if I understand more about the realities. You'll soon understand. The answers are not e easy to recognize. Huh, that sounds strange to me, sir. Time goes as it has to in order for you to be alive. They all happened now. You'd probably implode. Explode. Are you telling me that the answers I'm looking for will come to me when they want? Not exactly. You know what? I'd rather say through time you have to explore and experience to understand. That means the answers will come when you find them. Not when others tell you how or where to find them. Ah, I see. Well, I'm excited now. I woke up. You woke up my curiosity. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Be curious and you'll always be amazed. But now, Fran, we have to get things done. Talking won't get you home. What things, sir? The machine needs some maintenance. I think you can. You would do incredible work. Here are the fireberries and water you got it before. Why I had to give them to you then? You'll need them in order to get the water pump working again and the fuel mixed. You'll find all the information you need when you enter the room to the left. Feel free to enter any room that you wish. Be quite busy fixing the automatic driver, but if you have anything to do, just ask. Alright, I'll see you soon. You have to press the button. Now we explore. Let's explore. It's the mechanical Mr. Midnight. Alright, spinning top. Oh okay. wait. Um reality view, ultra reality view. Micronutrients in the fireberries will supercharge and end it and make it last forever. To that. Um, okay, so you that and then it said you you I'm missing a cable aren't I So that like that. Uh, okay. Uh, and 
this thing in there. No, not that there. Alright, this bottle here, I want... No, I want that... drugs. Excuse me, ladies. I'm in the unreality. It's at the AFM or the fireberries. Right? Oh, maybe match? Okay. Right? Okay, um, A, that goes into this one. This goes in here. That goes there. Ha ha ha. I forgot how to move it. Okay, um, that goes in there. Yeah, 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 yep, 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 yep. Let's let this go for a little while. And this was in here. That goes in there. That went there. Oh, we had to turn out the this reality. Oh, I see something here. Oh, okay. Back over here. We're missing this. Okay, so I need fire to this. 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 I need the water in there, okay. Oh. The hose is damaged. Uh, okay, um... Alright, we need to find something to fix the hose with. Let's look in this room. Let's just see what's in this way. Uh, some type of thingy, more thingies. Alright, nothing really in here. Let's go back this way. Okay, over here. Tape. 
Watch over that. This has water. Fire there. Okay. That's back on. Unreality. Ignore that. What am I missing? <laughs> okay, where is thingy? Here. Perfect. Excuse me, lady. Other me. Use. There. That goes there, that goes like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. More cables. Oh! Right. Like that. That would be helpful. And that goes to that. Yeah! <laughs> you help? I think I managed it. <laughs> um, are you afraid of rabbits? If there's a little rabbit in one of the rooms and I'm deeply afraid of it, would you like to help a rabbit? Depends on the rabbit, sir. With all the things I've seen, I can't imagine one kind of rabbit. Is it a chocolate rabbit? Or one with horns and killer eyes? You'll have to see for yourself as a pink nose and blue boots. It's just sitting there, no blinking, no moving, it's just staring all the time. It does sound very scary, sir. Show it to me otherwise, I'll never know. Brave you are, follow me now. Okay, well I can get rid of those pictures from my phone then. I don't need them for reference anymore. Okay. A bunny, we need to deal with the bunny. There, see, it's just sitting there. Isn't that strange behavior? It's, from what I see, it's just a toy, sir. It won't move. Would you please try to contact it? Make contact with it? I don't dare touch it. All right, sir, I'll take the rabbit and see if there's nothing to be scared of. See, it's just a fluffy rabbit, nothing to be scared of. Oh, you're right, Fran, there's nothing to be afraid of. Wait, don't go. This isn't funny. One, two, three, four, five, drugs. Oh, a mechanical rabbit. That's not very cute. Auten. Are you it words other head? Uh, okay. Small ventilation thingy. Oh, mechanical arm, are you alive? Carrot? Like an elevator. Three. 
Nine. Four? Six. Eight. Battery. Yes, it works. Mechanical arm. Oh, okay. Um, Carrot. Give. Let's see where the drugs. You alive? Drugs. this. Maybe if I come over here now. Oh, I go up. Distract him so I can go up. Okay. Um. Mom and dad? All right, no more drugs for you. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. 
I not need to do anything with the water? Oh! Hi, Edward! Surprise, friend! Happy birthday! Trust him? At all? Oh, a birthday party. Wow, I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight. You lied to me. I lied to you in order to keep your attention in another direction. I'm very sorry I had to fool you, my friend. We wanted to surprise you, my dear friend. Come and eat cake. Alright, thank you, Kitty. You really surprised me. Thank you, it word sword. Cake is made of all the ingredients you like, Mr. Tol Mr. Midnight told me each. Which ones? We have something very special for you. From all the members of the fish. Ship. Fish. <laughs> that means all of us, naturally born or handmade beings. Here you go. I hope you find it educational. Wow, oh, I love the wrapping. Can I open it now? Yes, go ahead and open it. Mr. Midnight. Thank you. I love it. It's beautiful. To make give your eyes a new prescription, you know? Like the alter reality. Is that what happens when I take the red sir? Is that the alter reality I see? Well, it depends. Would you like some explanations? Yes. Like what you see is a mixture of different realities. And the ultra reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. For example, at this exact coordinate, time and space, we're having a birthday party. And in the ultra reality, other things are happening. Faster, slower, or invisible to the human eye. It's because of time, humans can define past, present, and future. Define things and encapsulates reality. It gives humans a chance to understand their environment. You have different perception of the environment. It's not linked to definitions. You understand what I said? I'm not sure, sir. I think maybe I feel a bit busy. Uh, that may be the ship going up and down. Uh, blowing the candles, dear. We are about to reach our destination. We're almost home. Yes, we're about to arrive. Here we go. Oh no, 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 no. Oh dear, what's happening, Mr. Midnight? Are you alright? I'm alright. I hope the ship won't break. It sounds dangerous. Fran, you have to help. I had to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by the Kamalas. There's only one thing left alive. You have to get rid of it. Find it fast. How do I do that, sir? Water. That cleans the dirt. Hurry up now, everything. Remember, it may be hiding from your eyes. You have to find Camilla. Let's hope the water destroys it. Let's go. Water. Hates water. water. Okay. We've obtained water. Are you here to kill it, Ward? Water. Okay, not them. Um... Alright, we found Pennywise. But I don't think that's our thing. Ah! There it is! Goodbye!
are you going? Stop licking yourself. Alright, past Pennywise. Twins, that's fine. Okay, I need more water. Uh, rotate. Water. Oops. Get it. Water. 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 I got rid of it. I should go back to it, Ward. Hi, twins. Hey, Pennywise. I mean, it worked. <laughs> it worked, sir. We did it. The Kamal is gone. It's gone, yes, but it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. We are going down. Um, yeah, the Timba. Sorry. <laughs> no, please. Don't tell me this. It's not fair. Not fair. Mr. Midnight, come here. I will always take care of you, my dear. The ship was going down until it crashed. Everything was destroyed. The end. Yay! <laughs> that is a very sad ending, Kit Ward. Please tell me another story, please. Alright, this is the story of Fran Bow and me. And she promised never to forget me and about the magic of everything. <laughs> I promise it, Word. I will never forget you. Good. Now it's time to sleep. Expect me in your dreams, my friend. Doctor's prescription. Hello, dear. Goodbye, dear. It word? Ow, kitty. We are alive. We survived the crash. Oh, dear. Yes, we are alive. But Itward is gone. But he brought us home. We are outside the town, Fran. I can smell it. Are you sure, Kitty? Are we already home? I thought you'd be happy about it. What's wrong? It's just that I wonder where Itward is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you could take the medicine to see him again. Yes, Kitty, but I took all the pills already. You see, the bottle is empty. Anyways, let's go home. Maybe Itward will come to me someday. Oh, I ran out of drugs. <gasps> this is our street, Kitty. Hey, street. Yes, yes, it is. <gasps> and here we are. This looks much more gray than I remember. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. Aunt Grace, hello. Hey, she's not home, dear. Do you have a key to go inside? No, I don't have a key, kitty. I know there's one hidden somewhere. I just need to remember where. Let's find it. No, no. I took the key, Fran. Fran, that's me! Alright, 
right, I took the key. Uh, come here, kitty. You must climb and go through the window. I couldn't find the key. It seems that I already took it. You took the key, but you don't have it. That sounds very strange. Yes, it's very strange. I only found a note, but I don't remember writing. But in order to get inside, kitty, you must climb and get open the door for me. Ugh. All right, let's me look. You can do it, kitty. Just be careful. Mr. Midnight, do you hear me? Open the door. Fran, I can't believe it. You're alive. Where were you? Dr. Dern, I'm fine. Please don't take me back to the asylum. I've been looking for you for a long time now. How did you escape? I escaped through the yellow door, sir. Hmm, but why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have a key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed and went through the window of the second floor, sir. Mr. Midnight, isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask why you are here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me then. No, I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Friend, I don't believe your cat is inside the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He's inside. He will open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. Oh no. <gasps> Bye, Mr. Midnight. Sorry, Fran, I don't want to hurt you or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? This feels so wrong. You know, Fran, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I found things that I do not understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. I let the newspaper know that Fran Bo, she's found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding her parents murdered. They found her this week, really murdered in their residence on Hay Street. It seems the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would make a quick instantaneous death. There were no signs of struggle in the house, and the victims must have been caught completely by her spies who were unable to fight back. But the price did not find any useful information. The youngest of the family found Bar was found murdered in was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder, frozen to death. Glass Hannah, isn't that the nurse? I'm not dead, I'm not free from all this pain. Who would lie to her about me? I'm not dead. I'm not dead, sir. These are some lies. I see that. I also found out your medicine was switched. You were given a new variant of duotine. When I looked at it in the laboratory, the levels of ectoplamentine were too high. This can't that can't be good. It creates a doorway door between con subconscious and conscious. The problem is, if it's taken too high, the door will be too wide open and it will create a great confusion in your brain. A bit confused, yes. Is that because of all the news that I can see and feel? What do you mean, Fran? I can see the ultra reality, sir, and also travel to other worlds. That must be the consequences of duty, nothing more. That's not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that mess anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All in my head, you said. They may be able to control it. I mean, you are imagining things. That's all. I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. Don't want my father playing with his knife again. 
My arms hurt. Did your father harm you with a knife, doctor? What? Who told you that? You did. Or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, then it is true. Oh, please, let's focus. Be not listening to me, sir. We need to find out more of the truth. I wonder who's behind all this. The nurses? Oswald? Who knows? I do know, sir. It's a big black monster, Remo. He took my parents and now he haunts me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I stayed in Isras with Parathras and the Great Wizard. What are you talking about, please, Fran? I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Itward or Panathros, and my kitty is all alone. Panathros, Itwards, please, Fram. He's a doctor, and it's for us. He's a flying creature, very fluffy, sir. And Itwards, my faithful friend, he brought me home with his machine. It seems you have been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins were gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw my mother and father, too. The twins were twins. The girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of Clara and Mia case. Two girls in the asylum that claim to be a monster. See, a monster named... A creature named Edward or something. Edward? I think you're a misunderstanding, sir. It's Edward. What happened to these girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sewed them together. Most of you see the reactions of DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died, and their bodies were thrown into a well. I see then. That's awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for all this disgrace. Thank you, doctor. Maybe Parathos was you was right about you. You are not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules. Well, not tonight. Here we are. This is a cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come follow me. This is your parents' resting place, and also yours. Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, Fran, but things are... But things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we find the guilty ones, we can have justice. Use the law to punish such behaviors and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. What do you need from my help? Find clues and evidence. We may need to open the coffins. All right, sir, I'll help. Maybe the deadly worms came already. Who? Hmm, anyways, we have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left, you go right. We'll see you in a few minutes, all right? Okay. We're digging up our parents. open. I need a key for that. Okay. Uh, okay, so I can control the ultra reality. Just my luck. Nobody likes to be dead. That's great. Um, it kind of stuck a few times, but I figured it out without having to look it up, so. I just need to now find a shovel. Somewhere. What if the lady has hidden in her hands? Is it a little bug?
and we uh, talked to the to the the doctor came found us after we crashed. Um, he revealed the fact that someone said that we died in the woods after our parents were killed, so we're buried here apparently. The twins that we saw before were an experiment in the asylum on DNA apparently. Shh, you have to keep it down, Fabio. Oh, but I'm not Fabio, I'm Fran. Hello, little pine cone. What? Oh my goodness, a giant. Oh, we ran out of drugs. That apparently we're opening a bridge between our subconscious and conscious. So in theory, we can switch between drug state and not drug state whenever we want. I am pine cone. Uh, don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I have big eyes. You see. Ah, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way. The tribe's collector. The tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now, we're trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for a mating ritual. I don't want to know what they use the leather for in this mating ritual. Hi, Mav. Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather. <laughs> yes, last year we used old human skin, but the deadly worms wanted it back. So we're looking for something more synthetic. <laughs> well, I can help you find the leather. Um, could you do me a favor? Depends on the favor, giant miss. Same time, so strange. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking that you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, but we are gonna help each other out first and said Bring me back a piece of leather and I'll open the door. Alright, miss. But where will I find that? Okay, we need leather. Apparently, is there leather here? Leather. We need leather for a rating. Uh, for a ritual. Leather for mating ritual. Not real leather, which is even more fun. Not real leather, you say? Doctor won't need that. Don't worry about it, Steven. Alright, leather to the pine cone for their mating ritual. Thank you, giant miss. Our tribe of the pine sealists will be very happy. And now I'll open the door. Just one second. Ouch, are you all right, Sebastian? Sebastian? I'm all right, miss, yes. Good, well, thank you, you open the door. You're welcome, giant miss, uh, Fabio? Oh, I have to go, miss, good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me, I have the leather. found the shovels. Alright, digging up our parents! And ourselves! Yay! There are three coffins. 
Oh, I took the car restaurant. I needed to open a door. Do you want it back? No, Fran, but can you do the honors? All right. We're opening our coffins. Can we open the lids? Are stuck. Yes. Hence why. All right. There is dad. There is mom. The deadly worms took your eyes. Oh, mother, you're so skinny. A bit too much, I would say. I'm not in the coffin. Great. You're not gonna comment on the fact that that's a kitty? That can't be my kitty because Mr. Midnight's at home. I wonder if you had a name. I'll name you Elbert. Do you see anything that could bring us close to the killer? No, sir. I just have a really bad feeling about this. Seeing the parents like this. Also, the dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. Fran, I told you your cat was missing. Maybe this is the one is actually your cat. What well, looks like Angela from New Hope. <laughs> from Little Hope. The 48-year-old. Yes. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. All right, Fran, I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. We still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Uh-oh. <laughs> Vanish into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I will not be afraid of you anymore. I've taken... Oh... I've taken away from you the light. The one you love, the one you respect, and the one you desire to love. Maybe, maybe I got spooked. Maybe just a little. <laughs> you broken little girl. The house of madness and fights you inside. If you want to find those you love, in darkness you must wake up. Now wake up, Fran. Wake up. The House of Madness, the final chapter of the game. Oh, Grace, is that you? My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. And where is Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know, he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? But what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He's a traitor. That's not true. That can't be true. He didn't do it. Doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have a guilty one, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my best friend. But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they're not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. But oh, Grace, don't please don't leave me. Why am I changing the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they're untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to find Mr. Midnight. Little, little, shiny Fran. Don't you worry about the lies. The seeker of the truth will always die, because the evil will never hide. Little, little, shiny Fran, go to bed and sleep tight. And forget the pain inside your head. You were selected to suffer, to cry, and to hate. But the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling Fran. Wow, 
Why is she acting strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. I hope he's fine. What should I do now? Let me figure out how to get out of this change. Tick tock, tick tock. Sounds crazy. It never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaker said time is layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time. Maybe I'm just imagining things, but if that's true, how could I make contact with her? But I see everything is in my mind. Everything is in my mind. <laughs> what was I thinking? Um this picture of Mr. Midnight, he looks so comfy. And the wind took all the magic dust away. <laughs> oh, hello. What are you doing in my bed? Are you sick? Your bed, this is my bed. And no, I'm not sick. But you are chained. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog, and yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Whoa. You are myself. You really are. You think so? Then that means that I managed to enter the ultra reality. Did you meet Itward already? He always talks about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crash? That means you are broken. I am not broken. Why did you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross into the ultra reality is to, be, to break the ice, to break the ears, break the physical limitations. That sounds insane. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. They just told me that to die is... It's just a mental state. They? They who? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones, the white ones. Do you know why we can see these things? Yes, they are called Leon. Came to visit once and told me everything. Oh. And you can tell me them then? Why we can see them? What about if I can help you unlock the handcuffs first, then we can talk. Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. Aunt Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who's Mr. Midnight? That's our kitty, you know, our old best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess there's a difference between us. Anyways, let me see if I can unlock you. I just so happened to, that I am a key collector. I'll be right back. on that. Okay, whatever. Uh, keys. Straight jacket. Us, it weren't in Paranthias. Okay. Yeah, I'm on it. Don't worry. Use on lock. Let's see, which key? Haha, -ha, unlocked. Thank you so much, friend. Here. You really have a lot of keys in there. Yes. Don't you? Oh, friend, before I forget. Uh, Pranthes told me that if we meet someday, I should give you this. Here, I think it'll help you open something. Can I read that first? No? Pranthes, you know him too? Wow, thank you. You told me that if we meet, we should be... You would be ready for what's to come. What? Ready for what? Tell me. Oh no, I can't. She's coming. Be quiet. Oh, come on, friend. You must see the doctor now. Oh, don't go, little friend. We have stuff to talk about. And the nurse is bad, 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 bad nurse. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. Anyways, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. Okay. Examine. The little box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I pressed it to by the ears. 
first twice to the left, once to the right. I rub its only eyes two times to see if it has tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream, stop whining you little gold box. Press your eye again and open the door. Okay. One, two, three. Press that. Press that one more time. No. What was it? I think I drew it. I can reference it. Okay. Photo. Okay. Box. Okay, I press it. Okay. First, first, twice to the left, once to the right, two times here, the ice cream, to the left. Ta da! Salmon. Use. Okay, we made a door. All right. Um, you know what? Just so I don't have to reference it. Like, keep opening it. I'll just put it on my phone. Okay. Wait. Uh, this. What's this? That comic back. Okay. Nothing I need to worry about. Let's just see if there's anything I can take. Before I leave this. Who are you? Oh, it's Alice. It's the Cheshire Cat! <laughs> it's Alice in Wonderland! Something back there. What could it be? Welcome back. Key. Okay, we got key. Um, okay, I don't think we need anything else here. Somebody have seen a black cat. No, I've not seen a cat. If I do something black eating for me, are you alright? No, I'm not. I feel very sad. I can help. I was promising. Okay. Uh, I think 
here, I came from our room. All right, door. That's in our key. Okay. Hello, eyeball. Okay, we have some keys. Let's see which one goes where. Okay. So we got this one first. Intruder, intruder, why would you enter without presenting yourself? I am the eye from the beyond. Behold my beauty. Oh, I'm sorry. What big eye you have. You must see very well. I see everything, nothing less. Can you see my cat? Your cat? How is it possible you own a cat? Are you royalty, a queen, a princess? No, I don't own him, but we have a relationship. We're friends. Friends, how lovely. But first, I did not see that. It was crying from inside a cage. Bear of the cage entered the underground. He's still down there inside a cage. Can you just grab the cat you saw? Big yellow eyes, pink nose, hair very, very black. As deep as night. That's him. That's my Mr. Midnight. I have to go and find him. Alright, uh, but that is asleep. Waking her up uh, and in disgrace. I am not afraid of her. Feel free to take anything you need from my home. You're very brave. I respect very, very much. Thank you. I'm Fran. Okay. We got a hairbrush. Okay. Staircase. Seems it won't budge. I need to give it a coin or something. Okay, we got a bottle. There's that thing over there. Okay. What was that? I don't know. Okay, uh, 103, 102, 105. Okay, we got our key. Probably to 102. Nope. 105? I highly doubt it's 103. Ski. Okay. I don't think that's appropriate, miss. I'm sorry, but these keys are made doors I wish to unlock. We'd be ever so kind and open his mouth. He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. It would be very hard to get the key without his permission. They ask, I am Fran. Nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roberto. Welcome to the den. You don't know who that is? If you don't leave now, just leave. I haven't been here before. Don't judge me without knowing anything. Looks like it words like close. The mother of darkness. The darkest darkness, the obscurity, the end of light. Mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. I'm a terrible black son of that. Okay. Okay. Inside the house little key. Oh. We already got that key. Okay. Did that say anything about the code? No, it didn't. Um, to the left. Oh, okay. I am not done, mother. I just need another bath because I stink. Who told you that? The creeps that walk on my skin, they're getting sick. They vomit every time they eat my skin because I stink. I don't smell anything. What is it that smell we're talking about? I can't smell it. I don't my heart disturb you. I just want the soap. Terrible prop. 
Feel this up a deal of help. Alright. We have soap. Some water for the tree. I think. Okay, so that was window. Water with Kamala. How does that not work? Why can't you climb out? Okay. Wait. Let's go back. Empty case. A working... Okay. Uh, you... No. Combined with you. Why not? Examine. Use. No, I wanna... You combined with you. A working case. A glove, a bulb, and a clock. Is there a glove in here? It's a creepy doll. No. Okay, so I need a bulb. Okay, we got a light bulb. Okay, we got a light bulb. That won't work. Teeth are reinforced, they won't open. Maybe the hat forgot its head. I need 
something. I need something, what do I need? I feel like we need to do something with the monkey. Let me check the room real quick. All right, there's a reason we could, there's a heavier reason we can move these dresses. Got a button. That could work. Let's try that. Okay, we got a button. Okay, uh, let's plug this thing thing back in real quick. Okay. I have a button. Okay. I have pliers. Pliers on teeth? Sorry, dude. I need to take your teeth. Okay. Uh, uh, this room? No. This room. Yeah, there's a good mod now. Oh, clock. The back of a giant clock. Three are big. Need that glove. The black bleeds is disturbing. Kinda, yeah. Hey, behind you. Excuse me, I don't talk to strangers. Just let me take the key. She's not doing it's part of a deal. <laughs> Are you stuck? I'm fairly attached. Why do you ask? Very curious. Okay. Oh, hairbrush. Spirit. Here come, what is it? You wanna try it? I don't know, is it very dangerous? It's very pleasant. Alright, let's try it. Alright, just don't burn me. I'll be gentle. It worked! What's happening? I've never experienced anything like this. You're a Lucifer, and all Luciferns I've met can do this. Thank you very much. This is incredible. I need to fly away. Okay. Can't reach it from here. Let's go down and climb up the tree. B. Okay, uh, come over here. Use the knife, get the clock. Okay. Combine with case. No. Do I have to do something else before? What room had? That was down here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Water fountain. Let's 
tilt the balloons. Okay, we got water balloons. They can throw the water balloons at that tree. Water balloons. Kamala. 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 <laughs> Goodbye, Kamala. Help the sense anymore. Thank you. Don't worry. I hope you feel better. I give you something in return. A branch. that door. <laughs> okay. Go across to here. Go up. Branch to get key. Okay. We have the key. Key to 103. Okay. We got the thingy. <laughs> okay. Bob, this is dead. You are not white. I need to wake this up. They play to wake her up. Crazy ideas from Congress. He's not crazy. He's a good clock maker. Horrible place. Too dazzling. I want to go there. It was very nice. Uh, going now, you wake a tree and my kitty's waiting for me. Use on that thingy. Beware of the thingy. Awake in darkness, rise from the unknown. Oh, I'm sorry. I uh, can tell what the creature is. I can answer for myself. My friend Boom, human girl, 11 years old. I'm very brave, just so you know. And amusing, like right here. I think he is your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean like cutting my head open? No. Don't drink or eat some kind of reddish potion or beans. Beans. My pills look like red beans. Yes. I took the whole bottle. 
that I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth that you seek. Thank you. The power inside you, don't you know? You were selected by the five realms of essential essence to be the keeper of the key. Five realms with it was created in parallel with time. Okay, the keeper will be hunted by the sun of darkness after feeding from the red seed. You are too young, I must say, too young indeed to be the keeper of the key. There's something about you. Did you did something obscure happen to you? I think Bragmore killed my parents. Can you imagine how it feels? I am all of those feelings. I am sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. I feed from the tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. Then you don't care that he killed my parents. I thought you were nice. I am curious about knowing the reason, if that makes you feel better. Now I understand its reason itself, the knowledge you are seeking. Go on, keep her the key, be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. Okay. Let's sit downstairs. Cool. Cool. Number seven. All right. I wonder how much long it's been. Hour to be days. I've been waiting for weeks. Maybe a month. Okay, number two. It's supposed to be my turn very soon. I'm waiting for three for almost several weeks. Uh, become a doctor yourself. That would be quicker. But by doing that, you save us all. My R. My right eye is blinded. I have broken horn. And she's frightened by a mirror. Do you feel pain? It's a very hard question. Make it softer. How can I make the question softer? That's even stranger. Have you tried pulling your eyes out? It helps sometimes. Oh, it's impossible to talk to you with any of you. Of course, you can't make any sense of us. You're not the one that sees it all. You're only known us for a few minutes. That's very little time to understand anything at all. It'd be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? You know, I like you, dude. <laughs> uh, who sees all? Knows everything, but that's not the same as seeing everything. Alright, thank you for nothing. You know, take an over with you and then go wait. Okay, um, I still have the crayon. about the illness. Find out about the illness. Find out about the illnesses. Oh wait. Can I leave here? Is he left creepy today? Oh, you tell me. <laughs> Diane, that's creepy. <laughs> Hi, Sean. You. 
Excuse me, I need your help. Of course you do. What can I do for you? Patient. Can I tell you... Tell me what illness the creature that has number two suffers. He's in the waiting room. Waiting. Hmm, let me see. Ah, I see him. But from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by low levels of agony in him. Is it, but is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Yes, crying all the tears you can until you fill this bottle will do it. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm very pro in a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home, but now everything's just confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking with her was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do. So I was selected for something that she fell asleep again and wanted some more questions. I need my Kitty, Mr. Midnight's. Hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to Theratos and be happy. Hmm. Lovely pain. So profound. The ball is now full of your tears. Give it to the creature and that has your ticket. Go now. Time cannot wait. Okay. Don't mind the screaming. Yep, don't mind the screaming. <laughs> All right, he needs agony. Here, drink this. You'll feel much better. Oh, are you trying to poison me? Ha ha ha, lovely. Let's see. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir that I've ever tasted before. Give me more. Give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. Hi, Kanban. All right, all right. There you go. And thank you, your tears are absolutely delicious. Okay. Number two. Nurse. Nurse, it's my turn. I, not really, you just told me to take a number and wait. <sighs> I'm not sick, I lost my kitty, I just wanna find my kitty. Lucky though, may lose their mind instead. I'm like, get an appointment. Ah, oh, just call me. Here's my card with the telephone number. Be silly. All right. No, we're not tree anymore. We managed to untree ourselves. Now we're trying to get our kitty back. And apparently, the world thinks we're dead. Zero, one, two, two, one, two, one. All right, we're making an appointment for the doctor. Oh, yes, you don't make, I'll make an appointment. I'm available now. No, no, yes, I do have a pair. I really, okay. See you in a minute. All right, we got our appointment. Back through the blood door. Uh, Kitty, we we sent Kitty into the house to open a door. The doctor came and took us to a cemetery. And then we got captured by darkness and now we're in this weird room place. Oh, and our friend is Alice from Wonderland. I do have an appointment. Yes. Alright, the doctor will see us now. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I scare you? You look quite flaccid. Phew, phew. Yes, yes, yes. What a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Uh, thank you. I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. Okay, then. Oh, it's the Son of Darkness! You haven't chosen to end your life yet. Isn't the pain you feel enough? You are a Raybar, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I can't... 
not be seen in the third realities for a long period of time. I am Remor, the terrible black pr prince of darkness. <laughs> you seem like you... You seem like you think this game has gone a bit off the rails too. Just a bit! <laughs> I think she's just taken too many drugs. <laughs> I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where's my kitty? What did you do with Dr. Dern? I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering dripping from your eyes. I feed from it. You're the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. It's not true, not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You're assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you the night outside my window. It must have been you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is frail, easy to corrupt. Yes, you popped them all and ate the entire bottle. No, it can't be. Stop it. No, I didn't do it. I didn't. It wasn't me. Stop it, please. Who was it, my darling, who killed your parents? The dull little cr critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. Savvy, savvy. I haven't killed my parents. I haven't. The monster wants to trick me, I know. Everyone is crazy around here. I had to find Kitty and leave. Oh, also when we went to the graveyard, we found a dead cat. The cat was in our, our uh, coffin. Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you all right? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow? Meow? Why don't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Purr. That, my friend, is why you don't have children. <laughs> talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so I can talk to you. I take it, Ithra, my darling, Prentheus can help us. I promise you nothing will tear us apart again. Meow. Oh, kitty, I will be right back. I must help Dr. Duran, all right? He seems to be in trouble. Are you all right, sir? Sir, wake up. Sir, are you alive? What can I do to wake him up? Hey, the needle. Maybe this will wake him up. Um, don't they all eventually murder their parents? No, not all kids end up murdering their parents. Ah, damn, what was that? Don't worry, Dr. Dern, it's me, Freya. I just stabbed you with something. Ah, wait, I can't see very well. By borrowing money, yes. Fran Bowser from Oswald Asylum. We were at the cemetery together, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, Fran. Monsters? I don't feel like playing games. Alright, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. But what is she doing here? I thought you chained her. Ugh, if I told you. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me, Aunt Grace, what are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How lovely, you sound like your mother when she was young. My mother, do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison, I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald from Oswald Asylum? Yes, Fran, the very same old man. But why do you know about my mother and my aunt? I 
are too? Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me find the key to success. The key? Hmm. What do you know about that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Rimmer did a great job. His power manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. What's hold? It was you holding that knife after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Ragnar all the time. But why does he hunt me? It's a manifestation of your weakness. A blinded and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. And I actually did you a favor. You were suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength, Fran. Oswald, please. Let's just do what we need to do. Aunt Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let's go. My kitty and I will go. We'll find a place to go without bothering you. Please, just let us go. Yes, you're right, Fran. I'm sorry for being hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Okay. I feel like she's just gonna eat the cat. Like, just go. Eat! <laughs> Friend, my dear, listen to me. You must know Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. When Lucy was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought, she thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try the, a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course. But there's one thing you must take care of. This little traitor must go. Sparta eat her. <laughs> Sparta eat her. Oh, she's Sparta eat the cat. <laughs> no, no, kitty. Come on, Fran, stop weeping. The cat is dead now. But he was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? <laughs> How can you live with yourself? I hate you. I hate you. I'm going to strangle you to death. Stop it, Fran. Help. Help. Please, help. Fran. Fran, just Sparta eat her. Don't strangle her. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. Oh my goodness, she's totally insane. Bring it to me. I, I'll do a little experiment while she's still warm. <laughs> I need to extract the brain right away. Fran, are you alright? What have you done with her? Well, they shot her. <laughs> she tried to kill me. You're right about Fran, Dr. Dern. She was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She is mine now. I've been waiting for this mode for many years now. Looking for the right kid. The right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. <laughs> it war! <laughs> yes! Sparty eat her! Oh, Fran, everything will be fine. Who, who are you? I am it ward. The one many children talk about. But, but you're not human. Etos pros, etos prote, proteris mantra zakas. Gotta say, it word. I found him. Oh my goodness, stay away from the girl, leave her alone. <gasps> Mr. Midnight's alive, guys. Little friend, you must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? 
Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh, Mother Matabos, you took the innocence of the child. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran, you'll be able to walk towards the light. What happened? It worked. Parathos, my heart hurts. Mr. Midnight, how? You're alive, my kitty. I miss you so much. Please tell me something. Fran, we must go now. Go. All right. Dr. Duran, look. This is it. Ward and Parathos. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real. See? Can you believe me now? can't hear you. I think he's under the power of Macabos now. We must really leave now. But he can come with us, please. He's been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us. I'm sorry. But what we can do is make him bet make him believe that this is all just a dream. He'll wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, Fran. I see. Well, that's okay. I guess as long as he's safe. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents will be very proud of you. You really think so? Aw, thank you. Yes, how's the flying axolotl? Now let's send Dr. Dern home. Marcel Dern Octagon Vacus Sunnylot Ecto. Time to go. Goodbye, Dr. Dern. <laughs> Let's go now, Fran. There's so much you must see and learn. Hee <laughs> hee. That sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know. That between guilt and fear, I choose happiness. <laughs> I think drugs were used <laughs> when this game was thought of. Um... No, oh, there are worse games. <laughs> Thanks, Steven. Thanks, guys. So, as far as I understood the ending... Fran killed her parents. English proof reading. <laughs> oh, you too. <laughs> okay, so I think Fran killed her parents. Lost her mind. Someone found her in the woods. They buried her cat instead of her. So Mr. Midnight did die. And everything's just been in red. Maybe. I think. I think that's the true ending. Is that she killed her killed her parents? It must have been part of the development journey is back her. You. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying there was a bunch of bunch of drugs involved <laughs> because 
there were a bunch of drugs involved. One way or another. <laughs> drugs were definitely used when making this. Yeah, I think so. I don't know if there's something at the end of the credits, but we can just sit. Oh, no, there wasn't. Okay. Well, that was Fran Bo. <laughs> Either drugs or they're mad. Could be. Could very well be. Could very well be.